That bill by Senator Cleo Fields wants to make sure that students don't miss out on their top scholarships if they had to leave the state or if they weren't able to take the ACT due to Hurricane Ida. In the southeast part of the state, thousands of students were impacted by Hurricane Ida. The governor proclaimed exceptions for students who may have been unable to take the ACT or college students who may have had to leave the state. So it provides for exceptions for initial eligibility. That's going to be dealing with high school students. And it provides for exceptions for continuing eligibility. That would be for those students who were in college. Proclamations by the governor do expire, so this bill would cement those exceptions into law. The Louisiana Office of Student Financial Assistance says that 24,851 students qualified for these exceptions. So far, they've helped over 18,000, but just over 6,000 have not been heard from regarding tops after the storm. You help students. You gave them a break when circumstances were dire. The majority of those students did find a way to enroll in school and did receive their tops. Those that did not, the break that you're giving them is you're not canceling them. If the bill passes, it will allow the extension of the student's testing deadline to remain and prevent penalties for students attending college either at a school in an affected parish or attending out of state, but their home in southeast Louisiana was impacted. That bill passed with no objections out of the committee and heads to the Senate for full debate. At the Capitol for your local election headquarters, I'm Shannon Hecht.